A notary public at a bank is asked to notarize documents for a client who is finalizing the purchase of a commercial property. The client presents their identification, but the notary notices that the idea is expired. The client explains that they haven't had time to renew it, but insists that the bank has verified their identity as a long-term customer. The bank manager suggests proceeding with the notarization based on the client's known status with the bank. Question: What should the notary do to ensure the notarization complies with New York law? To help us answer this question, let's have a look at section 182.5 entitled Satisfactory Evidence of Identity found in the Notary Public License Law booklet. And one of the means of satisfactory identity includes under subsection B, subsection 1, presentation of the back and front of an identification card issued by a governmental agency, provided the card is valid and current. So with this in mind, let's have a look at our four choices to determine the solution. Choice A states, request a valid, unexpired form of identification from the client before proceeding with the notarization. Well, this aligns with the law that we read from before, but before we mark it as the correct solution, let's have a look at the other three choices just to be certain. Choice B states, proceed with the notarization relying on the bank's internal records for identity verification. This is incorrect. The notary public cannot rely on the bank's internal records. The notary public must comply with the law, which requires a valid ID, and therefore choice B is not the correct solution. Choice C states, ask the client to bring in additional documentation, such as a utility bill, to supplement the expired ID. Now, this is also incorrect. If we go back to the law, it states that the ID must include a photographic image of the bearer. A utility bill does not include a photographic image, and therefore choice C is not the correct solution. And finally, choice D states, allow the notarization to proceed after confirming the client's identity with a bank officer. This is incorrect. The notary public cannot confirm the client's identity with a bank officer. The notary public can only do it via the methods allowed by the law, and therefore choice D is not the correct solution either, which indeed leaves choice A, request a valid, unexpired form of identification from the client before proceeding with the notarization as the correct solution.